Okay, this video is for 8.1a, Intro to Polynomials, Adding and Subtracting Integers. So let's first talk about adding and subtracting. Um, it, will become, it will be handy for us when we start talking about adding and subtracting polynomials. So let's just talk about some things that occur when we add and subtract integers, or just regular numbers. So for instance, 7 plus negative 2. Now when we're adding a negative number, Another way to say that is like subtracting the positive version. So we can rewrite this as 7 minus 2. And we know that 7 minus 2 is 5. Now, subtracting negative numbers. When we subtract a negative number, that can be the same thing as adding the positive version. So 7 minus negative 2 is the same thing as 7 plus 2. And we know that 7 plus 2 is 9. All right. Now, when we have a negative number and we add a positive number to it, one way to think about what's happening is we start with a negative number, and by adding a certain number, we're becoming less negative. In 18, for example, we're at negative 16, and we add 1. So that means we're becoming 1 less negative. Another way to say that, negative 16 plus 1 is negative 15. Negative 15 is one less negative than negative 16. Let's flip to the back. Now, with our introduction to polynomials, we want to talk about the type of polynomial, whether it's monomial, binomial, trinomial, four-term or five-term, its highest degree, and its constant. So, in number 30, we have 7xy squared minus 4xy. So there are two terms here, the 7xy squared and the 4xy. Because it's two terms, that is a binomial. The degree is dependent on this exponent here. So since that is a squared term, it is a second degree. And the constant is a number with no variables attached to it. Since we don't see any of those, our constant is 0. Let's look at 33. This time we have 1, 2, 3 terms. So that is a trinomial. The highest degree, again, that depends on the exponent. The highest exponent is 3, so it is a third degree. And again, the constant is a number with no variables attached to it. We don't see that again, so our constant is 0. Okay. 